In this video, we're going to walk you through how to provision Samsung Tab 4s for Google Play for Education. Um, so here you see a Samsung Tab 4 Google Play for Education tablet. We're going to go ahead and power it up. And you'll notice it comes to the welcome screen. Um, from here, we're going to make this tablet the admin tablet so that it can be used to provision all other student tablets. From the welcome screen, we see a start option in the lower right hand corner that we will select. Then we're going to go ahead and connect this to the Wi Fi. So I'm going to select our Wi Fi network. I'm going to type in the password. Once it's connected to the network, we can go ahead and select next at the bottom. Here we can go ahead and set the date and time or just select automatic date and time. Go ahead and select next. We're going to agree to the terms of service on the Samsung tablet. And now it's asking us to sign in with our Google account. So I'm going to use a super admin account for our Google Apps for Education domain. Once I have all the information in, I'm going to go ahead and hit the arrow to the right. Agree to Google's Terms of Service by selecting OK in the middle of the screen. And then the signing in process may take a minute or two. Here it's just giving us a rundown of the Google services, whether we want to back up and restore, um, whether we want to allow our location to be used, and what kind of communication we would like to receive from Google. I'm going to use the arrow in the lower right hand corner, pointing to the right. And here's where I can personalize the um, tablet and tell it tell the tablet who it belongs to by putting in my information that I'd already pulled from my Google account. So I'm going to use the arrow to the right. Here it's asking me to set up a Samsung account. I'm going to go ahead and skip this um, piece because I already have a Google account that I'll be using with this, so I really don't need to have that Samsung account created. I'm going to go ahead and select finish after I um, approve the device name. And then my tablet starts up. Um, because this is a an account I've used on other devices, it may start to load um, apps and information from that account. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Google Play Store and make this the admin tablet by finding the Android device enrollment app. So I'm going to search in the upper right hand corner on the Google Play Store and type in Android device enrollment. Enrollment app and eventually it should auto-complete. So I'm going to select the Android device enrollment app. And I'm going to go ahead and install the Android device enrollment app that has the gray rectangle on it. We'll select install and that we accept all the information it needs access to. done installing so we can go ahead and open the Android device enrollment app from here. Now that we're in the device enrollment app on our admin tablet, I'm going to go ahead and um, select the arrow in the center confirming that that is the account I want to use to provision my tablets with. It's just going to check my device and um, make sure that everything is enabled that it needs to run properly. I'm going to go ahead and actually skip this process. Um, now it's telling me what to do to prepare for student device activation. There is a link here to a quick start guide if you need additional support or information. Um, and I'm going to go ahead at the bottom and confirm that I've read this and say, OK, let's go. For this provisioning, we're going to go ahead and set a tablet up for multiple student use. So I'm going to go ahead and select multiple students per device. 
And now I get to select how many students I want assigned to that device. For today's purposes, I'm going to go ahead and put two students on one particular device. Select Next. Now it's prompting me if I want to um, prompt the students for a profile photo. Because we are setting up this up for multiple users, you may want to have them take a profile photo. But for today's purposes, I'm going to say Do Not Prompt, and we'll click Next. Screen lock pin prompt um, will determine whether it prompts students to set up a screen lock. Because we're setting this up for multiple users, it is a good idea to have students set a screen lock pin. So I'm going to require that the students set up a pin and select next. Now it's going into my Google Drive and looking for any spreadsheets that have, um, or any sheets within Google Drive and this will give me the ability to select my multi-user tablet information spreadsheet. This spreadsheet has username, password, and a PIN number. These are generic accounts. These are actually not tied to student accounts. It's just a generic tablet account that will hold on this tablet. So you can see I've got tablet 1 and tablet 2 with a password as well as a PIN associated with them. So we'll go ahead and select the green check mark in the lower right hand corner of the device. Now it's giving me the directions as to what this provisioning process will look like. We're going to turn on the student tablet, make sure that our admin tablet says um, that it's ready to bump, and then we're going to tap the admin tablet to the student tablet and wait for a sound. So we'll go ahead and select continue. You can see my ready to bump status on my admin tablet. So we'll bring in the powered up student tablet. On the welcome screen, nothing has been selected on the student tablet. It's only been powered up. And then we'll go ahead and touch the admin tablet to it. Got the confirmation noise and now we can wait for the provisioning process. At this time, I could provision additional tablets as well. My tablet has come up. It is provisioned with a generic tablet account. I'm going to go ahead and lock my screen of my tablet. And I'm going to wake it up by a quick press of the power button, which is the same as um, what I did to lock it. And now it's asking me for the pin that's associated with that random tablet account. I could put that pin in here and it would allow me to use that tablet account on this device. Or I can lock my screen again with the quick press of the power button, another quick press of the power button, and you'll see in the upper right hand corner that we have to the owner of the tablet, which is a generic tablet account, and two student accounts here. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of the student accounts. And now it's going to prompt me for student information. So it's welcoming me to the device. We'll go ahead and use the arrow in the right hand corner and this is where the students can sign in with their user account for your Google Apps for Education domain. Now that that account information is in, I can use the arrow in the right hand side of the screen to move forward. you can see the tablet is ready for student use. I can go ahead and lock the screen. Unlock the screen. Select in the upper right hand corner and select the other student profile that has not been provisioned or I could select the owner account and um, use a tablet with a generic account as well.